Welcome one and all to WSC 09 Real World Snooker Championship. Only the best can play this game. And I'm going to run you through this game because I think it's truly a treat to behold. It's one to experience with your friends, your family, your fairy godmother. Uh, it's one to picture whilst you're smoking oregano, um, all sorts of stuff. This is the game to be thinking about in all your life ambitions. And I'm going to show you how to play it. So we're going to do a quick play and we're going to do some bar billiards one of the most popular games on the planet if you're French and actually I've got no fucking clue how to play this do you just pot in the ball? what the fuck? who'd play this? what? why are there two white balls? why is there a red ball? Who designed this fuck up of a game? Does that give me a point? It's giving me 50 points. Why is that giving me 50 points? What is this? What the fuck? Foul? What? This is fucking bullshit. What well, happens if you knock over the black skill? Fucking earthquake happens and the table gets destroyed. Nah, fuck that. Um, yeah, instead, I'm going to show you. Oh, right, first thing I should show you is you can make your own character. This is mine, the Snazman himself. You can see all the greats and the photos there. You can see, oh, look at the, oh, look at the graphics. This is my dressing room check it out trophies galore um, skills potting yeah all the best just Chris I think not I think we should call ourselves Virgo star And now we can return to the club room. Check it out. Look at that. Oh, Steve Davis. Yeah, pictures of famous presidents. G Lung Park there. Probably not actually his name. Don't really care. Um, but anyway, let's have a game of snooker. And it's Virgo Star versus Ronnie O'Sullivan. Notice the world rankings. Number one versus 42. I'm pretty sure that's out of date. Pretty sure that's out of date. Pretty sure that's out of date. Let's go for it anyway. Look at all the famous faces. Oh, look, there's even the Virgo there. Here we are. Tension. It's like the elevator's a mass effect, this. But instead, it's got a lot more tension. And the. You can only applaud that. You can only applaud it. And I've got ball in hand, whatever that means. Oh, well, looks like it doesn't mean much. So we're going to do a traditional snooker break. Check out our TV camera. Ooh. And the umpire or referee or. Very relaxed. Ooh. To worry about. Watch it, Virgo. Watch it. Right. So we're going to power it. Hope for the best. What a break. Oh, that is superb. And... So yeah, when it's not your go, you just casually 
watch the score go by. Yeah. It's a good game, this. Yeah. Hmm. Nicely has left me a chance there. You know. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, John Virgo. What a shot. Position could have been better. Virgo? What? Oh, what? It's not often that you see them turn around from here. Couldn't have said it better myself, Virgo. And you'll be glad to know that I'm currently wearing my John Virgo t-shirt. Just to uh, experience it. Oh, Virgo, you know. Um. Oh, what a miss. What a miss. Look at that. That is going to be a fine shot. In, In it goes. goes. In it goes. Talking like a proper northerner there. In it goes. Full power. That's got to cut in. Oh. Well, I'm slightly fucked. Excellent. What? Apparently that was a safety. And he happened to score 17 points from it. The crowds are going oh. ballistic. And actually, it's not accurate. Because if you have a look at the average age of the crowd, in fact, I'm not even sure that's a real person. It looks like that like cosmetic surgery gone wrong there and he looks a bit hopeful a bit cash I think they probably thought they were getting like what the fuck just what the fuck was that It's been so long since I last played this. Well, it's difficult to make a call on Man of the Match. I'll, I'll get back to you when it's over. <laughs> you cocky bastard, Virgo. Oh.